Watson, or Oshang, or Ocean, however you want to say it, has revealed a brand new HD radio for the ham radio community that includes four bands, all of which we actually use in the USA. We're going to check it out right now. Special thanks to buy2wayradios.com for sending me this radio. I saw it on their website and I'm like, ooh, that is neat. I want to check that out. Would you mind sending me one? He's like, sure. Buy Two Way Radios is a sponsor of this channel. Has been for a couple of years now. So check the links in the description below. And if you guys go uh, go get stuff from them, uh, be sure to tell them that Ham Radio 2.0 sent you. So this radio is the KG Q10H. KG, like uh, Kilo Golf, that's all of their radios manufacturers start that way. It includes... Two meters and 440, like like all radios do, and it also will do 220 and six meters. Not only that, but it <laughs> I just figured this out. It comes with pre-programmed channels for all four bands. So check this out. Okay, so one thing I found out. So it's got the this the the top knob here. This is your volume knob, and this is your channel knob. This this and it talks to you. So a lot of people email me and they'll say, Hey, does this radio talk to you? Does it have speech? This one does. I assume you can turn that off in the menu. Most of the time, that's true. So if you'll notice, it has 2 meter calling. That's channel 1. 70 centimeter calling. 220 calling and 6 meter calling. Now, I didn't program those. It came out like that. When I turned it on and and, and I was like, Oh, wait a minute. I got to pause the camera because there's actually stuff already in here that's useful. What a, what a concept. It's actually useful. So pre-programmed. And then it goes in here and it goes to Simplex 01. And I'm not sure what channels those are. They're like traditional walks on fashion. The VFO to memory mode channel goes four ways. Okay, so four ways. The, the It comes up with channel name. That's the channel name mode. If we press down this TDR button, frequency. it goes to frequency mode. So that's your VFO. You can change VFO right there. Hold it down again. Channel it goes back to channel mode and it tells you the channel number. And you hold it down one more time, it goes back to tra channel mode and it tells you the channel frequency. So, right there, 146.43, KC5 HWB testing. And there we go. So, we're going to go back to this again. Channel mode. Channel mode. Simplex 3. So, it's got 26 2 meter simplex frequencies in it. And then it goes to 70 centimeter simplex. It's got to have more than that in 70 centimeters because there's it's a wider band. 21 70 centimeter frequencies and uh, simplex frequencies in it okay so cool okay and then you can go through it's got like 91 channels in it now i did notice this at the area button which is a dumb name for it the area button changes between top and bottom if you go to area down at the bottom it skips from channel 2 70 centimeter calling to channel 2 channel 10 rather uh, 2 meter simplex 01 so it doesn't have 220 and six meters on the bottom band, only the top band. Okay, so there's some, the, you know, the, the, the original Yezu FT8900 had uh, six meters and 10 meters in it, and it only had it on one side of the radio. The TH9800 from TYT, same way. So that's not the, the Anytone uh, Tri-Bander, the UV5888 UV3, only has two, 220 on one side of the radio. So that's not unusual to have the extra channels on another side of the radio. So we can go back to area, and we can go... Let's type in 001. And we go down here. 6 meter simplex 12 is channel 91, as you can see right there. The um, screen shows 6 meters. So it's got 91 pre-programmed channels in it. And as far as I can tell, they're all simplex. I don't know if there's any repeater channels in there or not. 70, a lot of 70 centimeter stuff. Uh, it's skipping channels, okay? It's not... It goes from 60, 70 centimeter simplex 21... And then it goes, the next channel up is channel 70. It goes up by ch 10 channels to 220 simplex channel 1. So they put it, they've left some empty space in there for you to program your own stuff as well. Okay, all right, cool. Good deal. It does have two uh, two PTT buttons here. If we go, if we key up the top PTT, this is kind of backwards in my opinion. So the bottom PTT will keys up the top band, KC5HWB testing. The top PTT keys up the bottom band, KC5HWB testing. So I don't know why that's backwards like that, or maybe you can program that in the menu, I don't know. It's got these two buttons on the side over here. This one goes into to weather, pulls up a NOAA weather station. That's the bottom button. The top one is the scan button. Presumably you can program those two in the software as well. I don't have the software. I haven't looked at it yet. I don't know. It's got this little port on the side here that I don't know what it does. It looks like it 
that's not made to come off, maybe for another model that's similar to this one, okay? This over here has the mic. It looks like a standard K connector underneath this tight, this screw down, and it has USB-C. Now, the question is, does it charge via USB-C? Because it comes with a, with a desktop cradle. Here is the cable that it comes with. That's for the desktop cradle. Okay, so it doesn't, uh, so the USB-C might just be for programming. Hopefully it makes, lets it charge. Aha, it does it. Plug in USB-C, you got a charging red light there and it comes up and it said charging on the screen. If you missed that, watch this. Keep my finger out of the way. Boom, charging. So it will charge via USB-C, awesome. Okay, now we've got two meter calling, 70 centimeter calling, 220 calling and six meter calling whoa look at that <laughs> okay it did not like when i keyed up six meters it didn't bork the camera it borked the uh capture card but that's okay so here's the radio we're gonna plug it in i'm gonna plug it in over here to my meter and see um we're gonna do some power outputs on it here we go we're gonna go to two meter calling first there it is, focus. And we're gonna key up, I'm just gonna do, uh, it's on high power. Oh wow, it's got an ultra high. It's got four levels, low, mid, high, and ultra high. Boom, 6.2 watts uh, glare. Yeah, right there. Tr two meter calling frequency, 146.52 is 6.2 watts, awesome. Okay, now let's go 70 centimeter. Ultra high on that too. 70 centimeter calling. Oh my goodness. Even more, seven watts. Seven, well, seven and a half watts, really. Okay, good deal. Wow, so far impressed. Very cool. That'll do ultra high. Okay, uh, let me show y'all what this looks like. So the menu button's the green button there. Okay, I know it's a little washed out, so that's ultra high. Let's put it back on, uh, I'm gonna put it on the 220 calling frequency now. There's focus, okay. So menu, transmit power. Ultra high right there. Okay. Ooh, ultra high is only 1.5 watts. That's disappointing. Okay, that's disappointing. All right, well, it is what it is. At least it transmits on 220. This would be perfect. Maybe not perfect. This would be perfectly usable for my 220 All-Star node that's right up there that I'm actually in the process of rebuilding. The MFJ 849 was the meter we're using today. I was on VHF, UHS for the other three bands, but HF, which six meters is technically not HF, but if you look at the back of the meter, it says the HF side of the meter is for 0 0.5 to 60 megahertz. And then VHF starts at like 125 and goes up from there. So a little bit ambiguous, but that's okay. So we switched it to the HF side and I've got it on the six meter calling frequency right now, which is 52.525. And if we key that up, we're getting about five point. Now you see how it drops like that? It started at 5.2. Now it's going to hover around 5.7. That could be something in my coax, but I don't think it is because I use the same coax to key the other bands. I'm getting, you know, almost five watts. SWR looks good. Reflective power is zero, so that's fine. But uh, KC5 HWB testing, we're going into a dummy load. We're not actually transmitting here, we're transmitting outside of the shack. But yes, yeah, 4.69 watts. So that's pretty darn good. Disappointing on the 220 side, but that one looks good. The 2 meter 440 output are excellent. And it also, uh, there's something else I forgot to mention earlier. It comes with two antennas. I really don't like these these uh, radios that come with multiple antennas because I'm like, just put a quad, a tri-band or a quad-band antenna in with the radio for crying out loud. It's not that difficult to do. I wouldn't think it'd be that difficult to do. So these are the two antennas that it comes with. On the bottom of them, it's kind of hard to read because the text is really kind of light. But the shorter one is your 2 meter 440, and the longer one is your 6 meter 220. So... It'd be nice if at least one of these was a tri-band and included either 6 meters or 2 meters or 220, but one of them is, is good for dual band 220 and one of them is good for uh, 50 megahertz and 220 megahertz. So I would suggest uh, a lot of people ask me sometimes, and you've seen this in my emails before. If you haven't signed up for my email list, go to hamradio2.com forward slash email dash sign up. Sign up for my email list. I try to keep up with um, lots of stuff and let you know about uh, upcoming show, upcoming live streams upcoming sales and whatnot. But one thing I often talk about or, or share, link, link I often share in my email list is a link to Signal Stuff. Signal Stuff antennas are made by hamstudy.org who does a ham study course and gives it away for free. They're also the people in charge of exam tools. If you've taken an online 
test at a ham club or a virtual test uh, through Zoom. You've probably used exam tools. They make a signal stick antenna in various lengths and various forms and various bands. And I, I know they're working. I talked to Richard from Ham Study at Hamvention of 2023, and I know they're working on a tri-band. So I might hold out for a tri-band and see if I can get a tri-band antenna from Signal Stuff to, to put on this radio and use. But what do you think? I'm, I, I was impressed that it included not, not only three but four bands. I was in, impressed that it included 220 and 6 meters, both of which are usable in the USA. You know, some of these quad band radios include like 350 to 400 megahertz, which is completely useless in the USA for amateurs. I don't even know of like any commercial stuff that's down there. You know, most of your commercial stuff is in the high 400s. This, incl- it, it, at least it includes four bands that are usable with a technician and higher license inside of the USA. And if you and your buddy want to get one of these and talk on six meters, sim- one of the six meter simplex channels that's pre-programmed into it, you could have almost a private conversation. If you guys go to a show, go to a ham fest, go to, go to the store together or something like that, <laughs> go camping. You could do that. Be be kind of a neat way to use it. So check the link in the description below. Once again, thank you to Buy Two Way Radios for sending me this radio. You're going to probably see it in some more videos upcoming. 73 to all.